Hey guys, it's Daniel, and for today's trainer tip, I wanted to talk about the differences between static stretching and dynamic stretching, and where each one may serve um, to be a little bit better when being implemented into a weight training program. So, um, static stretching, as many of us know, is just holding a stretch statically. So, for example, if I am to reach for my toe here with my legs straight, I am statically uh, stretching my hamstrings. Dynamic stretching is when I take a, a muscle or a group of muscles or joint and I stretch them throughout a movement. So if I do big arm circles going back like this, I am dynamically stretching uh, some of my chest muscles and some of my shoulder muscles. Now why is it important to understand uh, both forms of stretching? Well, first, I want to um, inform you guys that Tendons actually have this cool property called elasticity. And elasticity is a tendon's ability to lengthen and also return back to its resting position after being lengthened. Now, a perfect way to visualize this is if one were to take a rubber band. If you pull a rubber band apart and you kind of let go, it will return back to its starting position. So tendons work similarly to that. When you hold a static stretch, imagine that you are stretching out that rubber band, and in this case, it's a tendon. And if you hold that stretch for a very long time, or you do a couple of sets of 30 second holds to your hamstrings, you're going to um, leave those hamstring tendons slightly elongated, more so than they were before you started stretching, right? When you're doing dynamic stretching, if you imagine that you just kind of oscillate that rubber band back and forth a little bit, that's what you're doing when you are doing a dynamic stretch. You're not holding the tendon out in this elongated position. So at the end of it all, it's still going to return back to its normal starting position. Now, why does this matter when it comes to weight training? So a lot of times people like to warm up and or cool down with some stretching. Um, the important thing with these two stretches is recognizing that if, if we are going to perform um, exercises that require high amounts of force production or um, high, uh, highly contracting muscles, something like a squat or a bench press, it is probably best that we keep that integrity of elasticity within our tendons. So if I am going to do a bench press, for example, and I statically hold um, a chest stretch here, when I am performing that bench press, I have that, those, those um, nanometers of extra elongated tendon that have to somehow fire really hard and really fast, but would do it better if it wasn't slightly elongated. So in a sense, um, studies have shown that sometimes static stretching may negatively affect um, force production of a muscle. And not saying that it's bad to stretch statically, it just may not be optimal when doing it prior to um, certain exercises or certain movements that really require high force production. So that is where dynamic stretching may be a little more optimal to do during the warm-up. Um, static stretching still serves a purpose. You still want to statically stretch after you've done your entire workout because as you continuously do tons of repetitions um, with a chest press or some squats, you keep shortening those muscles over time, shorten, shorten, shorten. So what may happen is the, those tendons become slightly tight by the end of the exercise, uh, by the end of the routine, and as such, you want to statically stretch them out so that you can slowly return them back into their um, starting position where they were prior to the, um, the workout program or whatever exercises you were doing. So, um, so hopefully you guys learned something new from this trainer tip um, and you guys can start uh, experimenting with your own stretching, how you utilize it, uh, both as a warm-up or a cool-down um, or for other exercise reasons. Feel free to go out there and research a little bit more on it if you guys are a little more curious as to how all of that works. Um, but anyways, 
Thanks for staying tuned, and we'll see you guys next week.